Well, in just a few days, the holiday travel rush officially begins. So now's the time to start planning if you haven't already. If you're hitting the road over the next week, there's good news for you at the gas pumps. Prices have been slowly dropping and the national average sits at just 306. Prices are a bit higher in Pennsylvania at 324 and Allegheny County averages about 334. The Transportation Security Administration is also gearing up for record breaking crowds in the skies. Tonight they're sharing what you need to know so you don't miss your flights. People who are taking to the skies the week of Thanksgiving will not be thankful for extremely busy airports. The TSA is preparing to have a lot on their plate. Thanksgiving uh, travel period is sort of like TSA's version of the Super Bowl. Uh, all hands on deck. Uh, we're fully staffed and we're prepared to handle the influx of travelers. TSA spokesperson Lisa Farbstein says the busiest days will be Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after Turkey Day. On that Sunday alone, Pittsburgh International Airport will have 312 combined arrivals and departures with 39,000 scheduled seats. Tuesday of Thanksgiving week until the Monday after, uh, we expect to screen about 18.3 million people across the country. And that's about a 6% increase from the previous year and a 17% increase over 2022. Locals Insider just ranked Pittsburgh International as the 19th worst airport for holiday travel, with nearly 19.3% of departing flights canceled or delayed. So much has to do with weather because there's the ripple effect. So airlines are impacted by the weather and it's smart to check with your airline before you leave home. Passengers should arrive more than two hours before their flight. Three hours would be even better. Man, get to the airport early. Pittsburgh, as you know, is undergoing construction. Right now, the passenger volume is so high in Pittsburgh, it exceeds the capacity of our checkpoints to move people through quickly. Allegheny County Airport Authority spokesperson Bob Kerlick says the peak travel period at Pittsburgh International is in the early morning for flights departing between 5 and 9 a.m. Pack your patience, but start with an empty bag. I remove everything and I start to pack from scratch, and that is our recommendation. That way you know with certainty that you do not have a prohibited item uh, with you. The TSA's website has a search bar where you can type the name of an item and check if it's allowed in your checked or carry-on bag. If you're planning to travel with any Turkey Day fix-ins, the TSA says these items you see on your screen are some of those that are allowed to be taken through checkpoints. The agency says liquid or spreadable dishes should be packed in your checked luggage.